you want to get Forge in Minecraft, this video is going to show you exactly how to do it. And if it helps you out, be sure to like and subscribe. To get started, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below. The Forge installation guide on our website where you can click download Forge. Go to the official Forge download page. From this point, you want to click on the version that you want on the left-hand side. We're going to be going with the most recent version, but this will work for any version of Forge. Go ahead and click on the installer button here, and the download will begin. And it will take you off to add focus for stop. Don't click anything on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds. And then in the top right, a red skip add button or a red skip button will appear. Click that and you'll be able to see here's the Forge installer. We can go ahead and click save and the download will begin. Now while Forge is downloading, how to quick message from our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to play Forge mods with your friends in just a few minutes. You can one click install hundreds of mod packs and truly customize your server any way that you want. And there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to find the Forge file that we downloaded. Now for me right here it is in my downloads folder. Go ahead and right click on this, click on open with, and then click Java. It will then open up the Forge installer here. If for whatever reason you didn't have Java, you couldn't open the Forge installer with Java, you can get Java from the description down below. We have our in-depth guide on downloading and installing it that goes over everything you need to know. You may also need to run the jar fix. This is going to take the jar files on your computer, link them back to Java, and make them work happily together. Now at this point we can go ahead, open the Forge installer, click on install client, and click OK. And now Forge will install. It's that easy to get Forge installed on your PC. And once it's completed, it will go ahead and say that, well, it is completed and installed successfully. There we go. And we can go ahead and click OK and actually delete this Forge installer. Now we can go ahead and download some mods. Now when you're downloading mods, you want to make sure they are for the Forge mod loader and for the game version that you selected. So any of these mods we will be able to install. Let's go ahead and grab Waystones here. Now the reason we're going to be using Waystones is because if you just download Waystones, it's not going to work. We want to make sure that we are getting for this 1.21.8 Forge. So we can see here is the file. If we click on it and then go to related projects, we will see that bomb is a required dependency. Most of the time when you're installing mods, you're going to miss this and it's going to make the mod not work. We can go ahead though and click download for waystones. After a few seconds, the download will begin. Now we will need to get bomb, but I'm going to do that on moderate because that is the other common place for you to get Minecraft mods. So over here, the same thing, you can filter for Forge and 1.21.8, but really what we want to do is search for Waystones because we need to go ahead and go to versions again, find that version that we want, which is right here, this Forge version, and then we can see how you can see dependencies on Modern. I wanted to show this on both websites just so you can make sure you get them and know how to get them on both websites. But this is the one that we want. We can go ahead and click the download button and the download will begin. Now with Forge installed and our mods downloaded, we just got to put the mods in Forge and we're good to go. So what we want to do is move these mods to our desktop just because it's going to be the easiest way to basically manage them once we get in game. They're not going to live there forever. And then we're going to open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, go to the Installations tab, where you should have a Forge installation. You can go ahead and play Minecraft using this installation, because we're going to install our mods in-game. Now, we will have to restart Minecraft after we install our mods, but that's okay. Once we're in-game, we just want to go to this Mods tab here, and then Open Mods folder. Drag and drop any Minecraft Forge mods you want to install right here into the Mods folder. Now, we will need to restart Minecraft quickly, making sure that we are playing Minecraft with our Forge installation. In order for your mods to work, you must be playing with the Forge installation and then once we are in game we'll instantly be able to see their active our mods in the mods tab we will also be able to quickly check them out in game as well so here we are in game we can go to mods and then we can see we have the waystones mod and bomb and of course like i said we can see that waystones are in fact active we've got one here for this village and we can jump over here to this village as well all using waystones if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below but you now know how to get forge mods in minecraft we will see you in the next video and i am out peace